That's a lot of nuts! So Drake just uploaded a new album at like 2 a.m. on a Friday night worldwide on Spotify. That could be a title, by the way. I'm seeing all the fun Anthony Fantano's had just clowning on Drake and talking about his music. I also want to be a part of anime YouTube, but for now we'll deal with being a part of hip hop YouTube. I think my first ever meme review on this channel was going over the memes around Drake's God's plan. So it only feels suitable that we need to cover certified boy lover, certified underage uh, lover boy. The memes, it's the only reason we're here. The memes are ridiculous. All right, let's start with the cover art. Drake released this image like a month ago and we all thought it was sort of like a teaser image, like a, oh, you've got the emojis. Maybe this was something that like a fan made for you. Perhaps this is sort of him embracing the fact that he has a lot of baby mamas, but then this is the official album art. Little Nas X has already made his parody version of it everybody and their mom that's how simple it is if something's being memed by like corporations on your album art you made it a little bit too simple you guys remember the pop smoke album art that literally looked like they made it using instagram filters that's what this feels like this album art was made by virgil abloh founder of off-white and current creative director for louis vuitton this is what abloh made pop smoke would be so upset right now being on the internet for long enough means knowing that the Tails image in the top right is not just any old pregnancy joke. It's it's almost definitely Vor, and I kind of hate myself for being able to tell the difference. Transition! The responses to the music on the album itself were all over the place. I wonder what Fantano thought of this album. Honestly, this track's greatest sin is being so goddamn boring that while I'm listening to it, I kind of want to just like hook a car battery up to my nuts just to get some kind of mental stimulation. Oh yeah, Fantano doesn't really like Drake all that much. Well, what about DJ Academics? He's a well-known Drake fan. What top five you smoking on, Kendrick? Cause my top five is Drake, 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 Drake. Tylko jedna w głowie mam, koksu pięć gram, odleczek sam. I mean, I guess he did drop the album at like three in the morning. I mean, maybe it put everybody to sleep just because of that. Transition. Listen, you can't just take other people's opinions when it comes to Drake's music, okay? This is art and art is subjective. You gotta enjoy it for yourself after all. Drake is the lyrical mastermind who brought us bars such as Bill so big I call him Williams for real. I mean, who else can do that kind of wordplay? But even so, you can't just take this as another album by Drake. This is a coming out celebration. On the track, Girls Want Girls, Drake states, say that you a lesbian, girl, me too. Drake's a lesbian. Who would have known? This whole time, I thought he was Canadian. Transition. Do I look like I know what a lesbian is? Transition. The lesbian bar is, of course, not the greatest lyric on the album. We, of course, also have to step on step to my girl and my hands getting thrown up. February 19th is the day of the glow up. It's a little bit of an awkward bar. I mean, the flow and delivery is great, but um, I mean, are you going to elaborate on why February 19th is the day of the glow up? Nope. We're just going to throw that lyric out there. Drake, you do know that's that's Millie Bobby Brown's birthday, right? You do know that's the date that she turns 18, so it's it's kind of a creepy bar if you don't elaborate on what you meant by that. You also have the bar that says that you feel like Tiger Woods the way you're teed up on 17. She, Millie Bobby Brown's 17, so it, it really feels like you're honing in on her 18th birthday, Drake. We're not we're still not going to elaborate. Also, any reason in particular R. Kelly is credited as a as a writer on this album? It's no, we're not gonna elaborate on that either. You're you're not making this easy, Aubrey. You don't make it easy to be a Drake fan, Aubrey. Next meme. Okay, so the album wasn't great. It wasn't one of Drake's best projects. It, it wasn't fantastic. There was a tremendous amount of attention surrounding this album, however, because it was so closely inside with Kanye West's very anticipated album, Donda. In fact, for like a week or more, it almost seemed like they were going to release at the same time. When Kanye West started doing his pre-listening parties, Drake took another stab at the beef between them by releasing an unfinished, unmastered track that Kanye West had did with Andre 3000. Basically, Drake released this track because Kanye West had a had a had a diss in it. He wanted to show that Kanye West was reigniting the beef. The problem, Andre 3000 is on this cut of this track. So it's Kanye West talking about his long deceased mother. Andre 3000, arguably the greatest lyricist of our generation talking about his own deceased mother. The track is fire. 
and it's not even finished. It didn't even make the final cut of the album, and yet it's basically better than everything that was on Drake's album, and it wasn't even good enough to make it on Kanye's album, which makes for the hilarious sentence that the hottest song that Drake dropped the week that he released Certified Lover Boy wasn't even his own song. The hottest song that released from Drake's camp was an unreleased Kanye West song that didn't even make it to the album. And ah, man, it's, it's been a funny week for hip hop fans, dude, I'm telling you. Like and subscribe. All right, I don't even know how to, I, I guess I just tell you this. So you guys remember Steve from Blue's Clues? You remember this guy? You remember how he was just like, one episode, he was like, hey guys, I'm going to college, bye. And then, and then we just had Steve's brother host Blue's Clues. And I was like, wait, what happened to Steve? For the longest time, I feel like I've seen like a dozen different uh, like hypotheses or like theories about what happened. I, I was always under the impression that Steve was like, like succumbed to drug addiction or something. For the 25th anniversary of Blue's Clues, Steve returns on the Nick Jr. Twitter and just records a video that's like, hey, what's up guys? You remember when I went to college? Let's talk about that. And then just sort of gives you some wholesome advice. He's like, yo, man, I, I know I'm just a dude who was on TV, but uh, hey, you you seem like you seem like a good guy. I, I appreciate all the things that you've accomplished and I'm proud of you. And it's like, listen, you can't just disappear and go to college and then return as if nothing changed, man. Like I did accomplish a lot, you know, and I did it for you, Steve. I did it for you. Transition. There is a hilarious fake article written by harddrive.net that states, there it is, Steve from Blue's Clues releases a second video asking for a few thousand dollars just to get his business off the ground. Because if somebody disappears out of your life and then shows up like 20 years later, that should probably be the first thing that you watch out for. But in this case, it's just a weirdly, randomly wholesome video. Steve just shows up back in your life, tells you that he appreciates everything that you're doing, says that you look great, apologizes for leaving so abruptly and awkwardly, and honestly, I feel like a kid again. I mean, if you think about it, this was, what, 20 years ago that this happened? So even though this was posted on the Nick Jr. channel, this isn't for kids. This is literally for me. And I know if nobody else got me, Steve from Blue's Clues got me. He never forgot about me, all right? And he said so himself, and I gotta be honest, I need that kind of reinforcement in my life right now. I need that kind of positive energy. Who would have thought a random dude on the internet through video could make me feel so much better? I wish I had that kind of power. I can't imagine how I could do that for anyone else. So on a completely unrelated note, Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Remember to click confirm after you hit unsubscribe. Patreon boys are rolling in the back. Feel free to join them if you got a couple extra bucks. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Shpisu!